Hey, today we're going to go over how to solve type 1 problems using basic decimal arithmetic. Uh, basically, there's two things you need to determine uh, when you're solving these type 1 problems using my method. You need to determine which byte is the interesting byte, uh, and you need to determine what the block size is. So in this case, we have a slash 27. So as we should recall, the first octet is 8 bits, second octet is 8 bits, so this is 8, 16, 24. So that tells me my interesting byte, the byte we're going to be working with, is this 196, right? So then uh, once we determine it's 196, we get the block size. The uh, block size is 32. So we need to get the multiple of 32 that is closest to 196 without going over it. So if we wanted to add them up, we could do 32, 64, 96, 128, 160, 192, uh, 224. So 192 is the multiple of 30 that is closest without going over. So the answer for this is going to be 192. We always put the prefix length on the uh, network address. Next we need, we need to determine is the broadcast address. Uh, so the broadcast address, we take the part of the address that uh, is not the interesting byte, that is before the interesting byte, and that stays the same. And then in the interesting byte, what we want to do is we want to add the block size. So 192 plus 32 gives me 224. That tells me where the next network can start. So to find where this network ends, I'm going to subtract 1. So 192 plus 32 is 224. Minus 1 is 223. So that's the broadcast address for uh, this subnet. Uh, you don't put the slash 27 on the broadcast address. Why is that? Because that's the way I coded the site. Uh, it's required on the network address because you can't really define the network uh, without the prefix link, but I just decided not to put it on the broadcast address. So you check it, and that tells you you're correct. Uh, so let's do another one. It's another one uh, very similar. The interesting byte is the fourth byte. So that's the interesting byte. How do I know that? Because 24 goes up to this dot. 25 is out here in this byte. So we'll. the first part all stays the same. We have a 25. The block size for 25 is 128. 128. So the multiples of uh, 128, we start at 0, and then we go to 128. This is 147, so that's higher than 128. 128. The next network after this would be the next one up, 106.0. So we know that's 128. Uh, put a prefix link. Like I just said, the next network up. If we add, if we add 128, we get 256. So once we get 256, we have to carry the 1 to make this 106.0. But our broadcast address is going to be 105.255 for this subnet. Let's do another one. 26, same thing. Fourth byte. Everything before it stays the same. Uh, 26, the block size is 64, so that's 0, 64, uh, 128. This is 124, so that would be 64 slash 26, 191.5.8.64 uh, plus uh, 64 is 128, minus 1 is 127. Let's do another one. Hey, finally a 22. So this makes this the interesting byte, the third octet, right? 8, 16, 24, 22 falls within that. So for the network address... Everything before the interesting byte stays the same. We have 78 uh, as the interesting byte, and our prefix length is 22. That makes our block size 4. So if we go with our multiples of 4, uh, up until we get to the one under 78, or that is 78, it's going to be 76. How do I know 76? Well, I know 80 is a multiple of 4, so I subtracted 4 from that and got 76. Anything after the interesting byte in the network address will be 0. And then we put the prefix length. For the broadcast address, everything before the interesting byte is the same. In the interesting byte, we need to add the block size. So we add 4, get 80, subtract 1. Subtract 1 is 81, stupid. 79. And then anything after the interesting byte is going to be 255. So in this case, this is different than the ones we did before. The third byte is the interesting byte. So now we're, we're working in the third byte when we're adding and subtracting with the block size. And then anything after that uh, interesting byte will be 255 in the network address. 
and it will be uh, zero, sorry, I said that wrong, 255 in the broadcast address and zero in the network address. Let's do a couple more. Nine, way up there at nine, we have a block size of 128. That makes this the interesting byte. Uh, the, the possible values we're working with with this, uh, this byte with uh, a block size of 128 is zero and 128. Clearly seven falls between zero and 128, so the network address is gonna be zero. Uh, put zeros after the interesting byte, put the prefix length. Before the interesting byte stays the same, now we need to add uh, zero plus 128 is 128 minus one is 127. And anything after that is 255. 255. Um, so uh, that's basically how you solve the problems. Uh, if you're having problem with these problems, you can switch to instant feedback mode. Instant feedback mode will, what it does is as you're solving the problem, I've already identified 28 as the interesting byte pin out here. The block size for 28 is 16. So say I, I did my calculation and I ended up with uh, 203. What interesting, what instant feedback mode does is it turns red when you screw up uh, the answer so that you can know that you screwed up the answer immediately and figure out why you screwed up the answer so that you can uh, solve the problem uh, correctly. So I'm pretty sure this needs to be 208 slash 28. And then the broadcast address, again, everything before the interesting byte will stay the same. And then everything after the, and then to find the last uh, bit, we need to add the block size, which was 16, which that gets us 224 minus one, gets us 223. If I'd have put 224, it would have turned red. So 223. So uh, that's really the method to solve the problems. You need to find the value, uh, the interest, the, the block size multiple under, but closest to the number you have in the interesting byte and that becomes the network address. And then for the broadcast address, you add the block size to the network address. Some people mess up and wanna add the, the block size to this. No, you add the block size to the network address and then you subtract one and get 223. I'm gonna keep solving a few more problems in case you, you want to watch me solve a few more problems and you don't really think you get it and you just wanna watch. Uh, that's cool, uh, but I'm not really gonna talk anymore. I'm just going to solve problems. So. Uh, this is instant feedback mode. Once you're done here, if you want to go back to regular mode, you can click on regular mode. If you're doing this for class and you're in one of my classes, uh, this is, I'm in the practice mode right now. If you want to actually solve these and get credit for them for class, you need to go to the program. That's uh, what I call our entire little sequence of things we do. So make sure you go do these in the right place if you want to get credit for them. So that's it. I'm just going to solve some problems for a bit uh, without talking.
you notice on that one when I copied, I uh, got some extra characters at the beginning of the uh, of that network address. So you might want to be very careful when you're copying and pasting. I caught it very easily because I'm in instant feedback mode. But if you're not in instant feedback mode, you'll submit that answer and you will think it's correct. And it will be graded as wrong because you had some extra blank spaces in the beginning. That is one of the easy ones. If it's 8, 16, or 24, you should know those by now. Those are the original class A, B, and Cs. Uh, so you don't even have to really think about those. It's 8, 16, and 24, and everything's on a byte boundary. So everything's 0 or 255. Five, five. Some of you may be watching this and thinking, man, Rich, how do you do this so fast? You're so awesome. Well, after a while, you kind of memorize what some of the multiples are. That last one I did said 87, and the block size was 8. So I know 8 times 10 is 80. So I know 80 had to be the, uh, the network address for that one. Uh, this one here is uh, 15. The block size for 15 is 2. 2. I know that if the block size is 2, it has to be an even, an even number. And... Uh, with a block size of two, every even number is in its own network, so I know that this one has to be 150 without even thinking about it. How do I know that? Well, I've done enough of this uh, while working on the site and trying to teach students how to do this that I just know these things uh, intuitively now without even thinking about it, right? If the block size is two, the, the network address is always an even number and the broadcast address is always the next odd number. Very easy if you practice enough. Oh, we got one wrong. Oh, I forgot to put the, the uh, forgot to put the prefix length on there. Mm, still wrong. So eight. Eight's easy. All zeros after the first octet. All 255s after the first octet. 
in the broadcast address. All right, that's really all the problems I plan on doing. If you're still here, I uh, encourage you to go practice in instant feedback mode uh, so that you can see what you're getting wrong as soon as you screw it up because as soon as you type a wrong letter, it turns red. And if you are in my class and you just don't get it, uh, that's not really acceptable. You need to get some help from me so you can get it because uh, this is not going away. Uh, if you're just some random guy on the internet uh, and you want help, then you could hit check it and you could like report a bug and you can send me a message. Uh, you can say like, this is not a bug, but I want help. You know, if you want me to actually respond to you, you need to put your uh, questions or your comments and then put your email address so I can reply to you. And I might do that if I have time. So uh, sit here, report bug, it'll send it to me. And uh, that's it for this video.